Hi everyone. We are three members. One is Naoki Fujiwara, and the other is Hiroki Homma. The last one, my name is Takeru Ominami. We debated about the luck of Japan's presence on globalization. <laughs> March 11th, we Japan were hit by a catastrophic disaster, earthquake, tsunami, and Fukushima nuclear plant. Many people lost their lives. In that time, we Japanese behaved like this picture. As this shows, many people stand in line, and no one act selfish. Many countries in the world admire Japanese response to this crisis. However, we Japan have a lot of problems. For example, economy, diplomacy, and so on. One problem we focus on today is the lack of Japan's presence. In global age. Well, first, I'll show you three example of this. TPP is Trans-Pacific Partnership. Do you know why Japan is trying to participate in TPP? America forced Japan to take part in TPP, and we decided to follow. But Japan hasn't yet joined the conference. Japan cannot behave firmly, and this leads to decrease Japan's presence. Next, these are Japanese prime ministers, American presidents, and Korean presidents in this decade. Japanese prime ministers change frequently. While America had only two presidents, and also Korea had only three presidents. So many foreign countries don't know who is the Japanese prime minister now, and some Japanese don't know either. Such unstable situation of politics certainly decrease Japan's presence. Finally, this picture was taken in the nuclear summit held in this February. Many foreign countries' leaders have to conference each other the day before summit, but our Prime Minister arrived at the very day when summit was held and just talked with them only a few minutes. The less our Prime Minister talks with other countries' leaders, the more Japan loses opportunity to promote Japan. This leads to decrease Japan's presence. These are some examples for locking of Japan's presence. So we decided how to solve this problem. And we decided to solve from education standpoint because we believe everything comes from education. Education can solve this challenge. Of course, there are various solutions from education standpoint. But our concept is education for pulling up nails that stick out. We mean nails that stick out. Or outstanding people.
because we Japan succeed in enhancing minimum standard. But Japan didn't care about such person, and even many cases, Japan hammered them. This leads us to the fact that we don't have Einstein, we don't have Ban Ki Moon, we don't have Steve Jobs who improve the presence of their countries. So this time, we want to show you three ideas about how to realize pulling up them. Cultivation, passion, internationality. First, cultivation. Now, in this global age, it is difficult to predict the future. So, we need to analyze incidents from various viewpoints. And we, Japan, cannot compete with developing countries in factory industries. So, we need innovation in many fields. And we believe cultivation becomes the base of innovation. So, our plan is this. In high school, changing English and Japanese classes into more interactive classes. In these classes, reading the classical books and discussing them in group and making presentations. We believe this is effective because up to now, most of the classes are passive. We just read the redundant textbook and listen to teachers. Of course, we need input. But we use more classical books that passes down from generation to generation and includes truth. In addition, based on the classical books, we train expressing opinions. Second, passion. Japan hammered many outstanding people to be the nails that stick out. We need to make effort to doing something like music, sports, and learning. However, education system in Japan is good at raising minimum standards of students' academic abilities. So it has ignored passions, potentials, and forced everyone to ride on the same rail. Now, we need to pull up nails that stick out. We believe they can improve Japan's presence. So our plan is this. Introduce skipping grade with condition. We need not only high IQ score, but also passion. We give an opportunity to try a skipping grade. If they have passion, we don't care about high IQ score. By doing so, we can maximize potential and passion in various fields. Finally, internationality. In global age, internationality is essential for us. We mean internationality is not only an English ability, but rather understanding other cultures, expressing ourselves, and loving Japan. If we don't understand other culture, we cannot cooperate or compete with other countries. If we don't understand and love our country, we cannot promote Japan to the world and it's impossible to improve the presence. But just living in Japan, it's difficult to recognize Japan and understand other culture. So our plan is this. We send students to all over the world and after they came back to Japan, let them learn about Japan. By going abroad, their world will be brought. But 
just going abroad is the same as the trip. So, we let them learn Japan to promote Japan and improve the presence. In short, after stimulated by other cultures, we think again Japan. Cultivation, passion, internationality. These are our solutions. By realizing our solutions, many Japanese can become the nails that stick out. And Japan will improve presence in Asia and in the world. And if we Japan become a balancer in the world by making the most of our strong point, we can contribute to solve many challenges. And finally, the world must be better. Thank you.